What's up, party people? Today, we are talking EDC, everyday carry. Today, we're gonna go through what I carry. Why? Well, because I'm standing here and you're watching this, so I, I, I don't know how else to put that to you. Now, on a serious note, everyday carry is super important. I'm a big believer that everyone who wants to should absolutely have the tools, means, and skills and mindset to make sure that they are able to defend themselves. And that's what our everyday carry helps us do. But more than that, it's the things we have on us, the tools we have at our disposal every day for everything you may need to get into. That's my mindset when I set up my EDC. So let's go through it. First, the piece de resistance, my pistol. This is a Gen 4 Glock 19 with a Unity Atom slide, Agency Arms barrel, EOTech E-Flex in tan, the TLR7 Alpha from Streamlight, and I carry some nice hollow points. I carry my pistol with a spare magazine and a T-Rex Arms Gen 2 sidecar, and that is my primary weapon system. For all of my dad duties, opening boxes, and absolute last ditch defense, I have a SOG folder, and I always carry a lighter and chapstick because you never know when you need to light a fire, and I like my lips to be moisturized. Don't judge me. Got some change and a handcuff key because reasons. Over here, I've got a flashlight. I always carry a light on me, even though I have a light on my pistol. I do that because I use this all the time to look for stuff. Toys under the couch, gun parts I dropped on the floor, what went bump in the night outside my house. I have a light on my pistol because I need to be able to identify and make sure that I'm taking responsible, positively identified shots in a dark environment. However, there are times when I don't want to point a gun at something just to point a flashlight at it. So. I have a flashlight on there. I do have a Theorem or Thrime or however you want to say that pocket clip on this. And that allows me to index my pistol and my handgun if I need to and still turn on the light. Big pen, because you need to write with stuff. After that, ubiquitous cell phones, one for work, one for play. And then we get into the crux, the support system, the foundation, if you will, of EDC. And that is a good belt. Now, this is a collaboration belt between Core and Adi Gear. I love this thing, it's super stiff. It's actually a ratchet, so I can loosen it up, maybe for Thanksgiving dinner, and cinch it down again, super easy. I can actually sit down and adjust this belt if I need to, if things get a little uncomfy on those long road trips. Last, but certainly not least, we have an item that I think is absolutely as important, arguably more important than the gun, depending on your mindset, and that is, a medical kit. Now, I know this may seem excessive, but here's the deal. If you are carrying the ability to put holes in people, you probably need to have something to plug up those holes. And to be fair, if you find yourself in a situation where people are getting new holes, you may be one of those people and bleeding out sucks. So in my medical kit here that goes on my ankle, I've got quick clot, I've got chest seals, I've got gauze, I've got tape, I've got a tourniquet, I've got scissors, and I've got a Sharpie. Now, the Sharpie is for marking method and time of injury if you're working on someone without emergency services on location uh, because you may not have the wherewithal to be able to give them a full report and download when they get there. So that is a good way to actually write on somebody if that's your thing and you have the ability to do it. Bottom line, guys, this may seem like a lot. Some of you may carry more and that's cool. You do you. But the bottom line is, I have worked with all of this. I've gone through many iterations deciding on what my EDC is gonna be and what works best for me. You may have a completely different life criteria and that's great. You carry what works for you. I cannot stress, however, enough that you have to be trained with all of this. I've spent years learning to shoot, working on my draw, working on carrying in clothing and in a style that fits my body type, my lifestyle, where I live in an environment. I have an emergency comms plan. I know how to use cell phones in a variety of ways to contact people. I've spent years working on empty hand and knife technique if I need to actually use this thing to defend myself or my family. I understand the multiple uses of this. It's flammable too, just in case you didn't know. And getting your lips sunburned is no fun. And the bottom line is, if you're ever in a situation where you need to have a fire, you really, really, really don't wanna be rubbing two sticks together. And like I said before, medical is super important. This is just enough to really support one person with some certain methods of injury and not others, and that's fair enough. But again, you wanna make sure you have medical training, but you also don't wanna carry gear that you don't actually know how to use and you're not qualified to use. Lastly, I suppose, I do have these sunglasses because the sun never sets on a badass. And that's it, that's my ADC. That and my trusty friend, Caffeine. In the comments below, I'm sure you'll tear me apart 
call me stupid, and maybe even say some nice things. And I look forward to that. It feeds me. But I'd also love to hear what you carry and why. Intelligent responses are always appreciated. Bottom line, guys, this is just a quick video going over EDC and really hoping to start a conversation on what EDC people use and really why, because hopefully it helps build our community, share new info with new people, and that's always an awesome thing. Thanks so much for watching. Train hard, live free. See you next time.